Good evening. Welcome to Mass at St. Robert's Parish. Jesus, in today's Gospel, reaches out to me and to bring life and hope to those in need. As we encounter Jesus in this liturgy, let us approach the Lord in our need and trust that he will come to our assistance. Our gathering him is God in creation, which can be found in the We Celebrate Hymnal, number 937. Please stand as we begin our celebration with our pastor, Father Zerba. Chose us to 
the reading of the book of wisdom. God did not make death, nor does he rejoice in the destruction of the living. For he fashioned all things that they might have been, and the creatures of the world are also. And there is not a destructive drug among them, nor any domain of the netherworld on earth, for justice is undone. For God formed man to be imperishable. The image of his own nature he made him. But by the envy of the devil, death entered the world, and they who belong to his company experience it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing the responsorial psalm, which can be found in the Select on page 29.
when Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him, and he stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials named Jairus came forward. Seeing him, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come lay your hands on her, that she may get well and live. He went off with him, and a large crowd followed him and pressed upon him. While he was still speaking, people from the synagogue's official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid. Just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside, except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead, but asleep. And they ridiculed him. Then he put them all out. He took along the child's mother and father and those who were with him and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Talitha Kum, which means little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl, a child of twelve, arose immediately and walked around. At that they were utterly astounded. He gave strict orders that no one should know this and said that she should be given something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. The Book of Wisdom in the first reading reminds us that God is a God of life, that we are all made in the image and likeness of God. God is a God of life, God is a God of love. And we recognize that in the Gospel, as Jesus cures the child who was 12 years old, the synagogue official's name was Jairus. Jairus asked for his daughter, who was at the point of death, for Jesus to come and lay hands on her. And then, as we just heard, the story unraveled, and Jesus, in full control, because Jesus is the God of life, he cures the little girl and says, she is not dead, she is asleep. And then he said, little girl, I say to you, arise. We look for that all the time in our own stories of life. I just dealt with that with my own family. For two weeks, 
we sat at my brother's side, who was on life support. And just like this scene here, people were wailing, people were weeping, my family, my brother's wife, all of us, obviously, and there was not a thing we can do but to rely upon the power of our faith. What did he say? Do not be afraid. Just have faith. And it was faith, obviously, that guided us throughout the two weeks until finally my brother had to be taken off of life support and then go home to the Lord. And so my friends, our faith, just like blood that is running through our veins, our faith is so vital and important especially in the moments of life that we need God the most and that we need to rely upon the power of our faith to help us and to guide us through. Just like last week when Father spoke about the storms of life, Everything eventually all comes full force into everything where our faith is so important to rely on. And so as we listen to the scriptures today, God is a God of love. God is a God of life. We are all made in his image and in his likeness. He guides us throughout life, the storms of life, and ultimately, in the end, when there's nothing left, He calls us home to be with Him forever in eternal life. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, neighbor of the of all I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born in the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, God from God, begotten not of an age, not substantial with the Father, during him all things for me. Trust him for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate in the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and crucified. He suffered death and his burial, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Proceeds from the Father and the Son. Who when the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Trusting in God. He created us to be imperishable and rejoices in our redemption. We give voice to our needs and those of our sisters and brothers. Please respond, Lord, to our prayer for the church that we may bring comfort, life, and joy to those who mourn, to those who are suffering to those who are anxious. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
those suffering from chronic illness and long-term disabilities, that they may find the strength to persevere with the help of the loving care provided by family, friends, and caregivers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as we celebrate our nation's independence this week, we may also recognize our dependence on one another and on God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may work to bring an end to gun violence across the nation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our prayers spoken and unspoken, for the sick and homebound, and for all those in our special intention book, hear our cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may share our abundance with those in need, imitating Christ, who though was rich, became poor for our sake. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our father, servant, brother, Joseph, servant, who passed away this past Wednesday, that he may find eternal rest in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in Christ, for Edward Ned Long, for whom this Mass is being offered, and for our Father's Day intentions here at the altar, for whom we would like to remember. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving God, you offer your healing touch to those in need. Heal us of our maladies, whether physical, spiritual, or communal, as you grant the prayers we make through Christ our Lord. Please join in singing Amazing Grace, which can be found in the We Celebrate Hymnal number 700.
Wage joined in singing, I am the bread of life, which can be found in the We Celebrate Hymnal, number 699.
the vestibule of the church are the sign-up sheets for the various areas where we need workers. And so we ask for your support in signing up to work wherever you're available, whatever area that you would like to give up yourself to volunteer. There are sign-up sheets in the vestibule of the church. Also, there are the bazaar signs. If you want to take a sign, put it in your yard, or put it in your neighborhood, wherever you live, or in the various areas throughout the, the area here. And so you can take signs are there available. Take them with you. And then there are t-shirts. The bazaar t-shirts are back there. They're very beautiful. Like a teal color blue, I would say. And so, if you want to uh, get a t shirt back there, or you have kids that you'd like to get them for as well, they're available in the back of the church as well. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the Fourth of July. Please join in singing We Walk by Faith, which can be found in the We Celebrate Hymnal, number 850.